All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Q and A, borderline with James Acres. Welcome, James Acres. Um, yeah, James has been on the podcast way, way in the beginning, uh, episode number three. Yeah, I think episode number three. Um, yeah, yeah. Very early. Right. And uh, he's been on a lot of welcome other podcasts, Q&A. like. Mondo uh, Neon, and James I'm pretty sure eventually he's going to be James dropped Akers. onto uh, uh-huh. Neon Nonsense, which would be, um, you know, yeah, pretty James crazy as well. Maybe one day that'd be fun. That'd be fun. That'd be pretty oh, fun. Yeah. Pretty fun. Three. <laughs> and so the purpose three. of this Q and A is to kind of go through uh, and, a few uh, different uh, uh, questions that may come up regarding the class. The main thing here is that when it comes to these workshops, whether it's glass, ceramics, fabric. Uh, fibers or whatever it may be it's kind of hard to get a full scope of what's going on especially so in processes that are Q&A, like a little bit further out from the what people are uh, are familiar with and so yeah, the main thing yeah. you yeah. only have so much you could put into a small glass, descriptor ceramics, just uh, notice that a description uh, is to fit into a format so you can view it in a very succinct way but it doesn't give you enough details all the time processes that are so borderline's a bit different i know that people try to combine combine different process together but we're trying to understand the distinction between neon and plasma just so i'm really happy to have james right, right. here to help us kind of um, understand it a bit more yeah yeah i mean that distinction is kind of like the impetus of this class it's like um like for me personally the, the, the that line is drawn when it's like you're using all neon materials and you're using materials designed for quote unquote signage um uh, and, and that's, that's like, like and, and in that, that injury. injury. So that's so like, like, oh, I'm oh, using like neon electrodes, a neon, neon power, power supply, supply uh, a neon, neon gas, gas fill that's recommended, that's recommended by transformer manufacturers, manufacturers and, and yeah, like, an, um, um, like neon fluorescent neon coating tube for tubing. tubing. Um, but, but like, but like you can kind of play around with that line with like, I'm going to use all things, but I'm going to, I'm going to instead fill it. Like I would, like fill, I would a fill a plasma lamp with, with high pressure, high pressure xenon, xenon or krypton. I mean, and that's just one way to do it. But then you can also say like, I'm also, and then I'm gonna also change that variable and then have my own hand pulled hot shop tubing in a color you could never buy in industry. Or then I'm gonna take that one step further and then make my own electrodes. Um, and so you can, there's a lot of ways and a lot of room for experimentation um, in that, on the borderline of neon and plasma. And you can also bypass some of the uh, restrictions currently with plasma, such as like um, like power supplies and and different things like that by just using neon power supplies. Um, And so I think there's a lot of exciting areas for experimentation um, that kind of exist on the borderline of neon and plasma. Um, And so that's kind of where this class is really jumping off from. Yeah. So before we jump into more details, and we're going to kind of talk about where it's at and, and what what kind of, just about the facilities it's happening at. But I want to, just notice I'm going to kind of be picking at you a bit um, there, James. Sure. You said yeah. Um, yeah. restrictions of plasma power supplies. You mean the limit the limit uh, availability so in pos- uh, of the plasma, a uh, current kind of selection of plasma power supplies with, and able to extend right, right. Just about the what you have available in the diversity of neon power, really power supplies. Kind of and, um, yeah. 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 That's a really yeah. nice point. Um, yeah, it's like yeah, there's. Like I mean, the neon industry, industry is very long. Is, is, uh, is, is, oh, it's not a very not large very industry, large but industry, compared but to plasma, plasma, which is a micro like industry, a, industry, a cottage industry, industry, if you will, um, uh, neon has neon more has going, going on, on um, uh, financially. financially. Um, yeah, and so, commercial history behind it. Exactly. Yeah, that's a that's a better way of saying it, Percy. And 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 so like. For example, like, the, for example a neon, like, like a lot of the neon, neon power supplies available, available today, today have really, really, really great, great safeties on them, safeties on them um, and they shut off and, and, shut you, can, and you, you can you can plug that plug stuff in and, and kind of just walk, walk away, away once, once you have it wired up correctly. Um, there's, there's, it really isn't as much of the um, debugging as like a plasma power supply might involve where you really got to check it and make sure it's okay routinely and don't 
don't, don't mess, mess with, with it too much, much or it could burn out. out. Um, uh, neon power, power supplies are a lot, lot easier to deal with in that sense. sense. Uh, um, and so, it, as, as an artist who's learning, like it's just, it's just one, one less thing you have to worry about. And and yeah, you can and with plasma, like you can have. Two, two electrodes, or one, one electrode, or, or no electrodes, or you could, you could have, have more than two electrodes. electrodes. There's, there's, there's really, um, it, it's kind of more freeing in that sense. You're not, You're not working within these, these like neon constraints. constraints. But, I but I find the constraints in neon are a really nice jumping, jumping off point. point. Um, um, if you, you can start here and then start messing with different elements of that, which yeah, I think is a great thing for the class. And also, it it really offers something for. Um, it's, it's not, not like, an, a, this, this isn't like a neon, neon sign bending, bending class, class. Um, and, it's and it's not really a glass blowing class per se. Per it's, it's really a hybrid of the two. Uh, um, so, so it's like, like we're going to be doing a, a bit of neon bending, bending but, maybe but maybe not bending, bending to commercial patterns. patterns. Um, but, then but then we're also going to do some like furnace glass techniques. So the idea is that if you're, if you're a glass, say you're a glass, it's like it is an intermediate class just because we want you to have some knowledge of one of these or maybe a little bit of both coming in, but, um, but like, it's but, a let's, let's start off. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Percy. I, I, sorry to interrupt you there. No, you're getting ahead of right. me right now. So this class good. is, good. um, good. is at the Pittsburgh glass center, uh, summer 2022. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the dates for that is July 4th through July 8th. Um, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. technically five days, but you're getting four and a half days of time. And yeah, what's unique about the Pittsburgh glass center is that you got additional studio time. Voluntary studio time, I should say, between 6 p.m. and 10. So you, there's facilities that don't give you that, or you have to pay for that. And I can understand that in smaller institutions or even as a business distinction, they want to allow for still renters to be able to rent outside of the class structure. Um, so if you do take a class at Pittsburgh Glass Center, do know that you do have the advantage of being able to have that full access to the facility after the class time between uh, 6 p.m. and 10. And that is totally voluntary. Um, and just a little like uh, a tangent on that. When I taught with Ed in Sweden, um, I'm so used to being able to have this access through PGC or through places like Pit, uh, Pilchuck, where you can go ham all day, right? You can go hard as a monster yeah, yeah. to be safe on, you know, for the kids there. Hard as a monster ham uh, and work all day. And it's probably a very American thing. But when I was in Sweden, once we had the class time done, people were like, nah, we don't really want to work the rest of the night, even though we could. Um, and so, again, you don't have to continue to work that second part, but if it's there, do take advantage of it as much as you can. And work all day. Because even if it's four and a half days, it's pretty tough to be going all 100% every day. Just know that. But how we're going to, and we'll kind of get back to that as we talk about sort of structuring it. So, um, the next point again, is talking about tuition. So the cost of the class is eight hundred dollars at this time. Now PGC has this as their early bird rate. So as in trend, and they have extended that early bird rate, which supposed which was, was supposed to end February first, but they extended it to the twenty eighth. So if you book now, you sign up now, you are paying eight hundred. The full price of this class is nine hundred. So I think um, you know April, it's going to bump up. So or March is going to bump up to eight fifty, and then April is going to bump up to nine hundred. It's full price. Uh, so be aware of that. So if you do see a, a price change, it's because at the beginning it was the early bird rate. The full price of this class is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you'll save money if you book earlier. You can save a hundred bucks by booking before the seventeenth, um, and then you know uh, it'll go up fifty bucks and then fifty more. Um, so yeah, acting soon is good, um, which is not bad. I mean, um, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely not bad for what you're getting. I mean, um, yeah, like these skills are kind of like you don't find these kind of classes anywhere in Pittsburgh. PGC is really unique. Part, in, a, in a lot of ways, because of the work that Percy has done, it's really a unique plasma like driven setup. Um, they have a lot of gases that most places, most places don't even have a neon shop. But like they have a, PGC has a lot of gases because it is plasma driven um, that just aren't available at a lot of places. And it's great in the class to be able to get to use those classes, those gases, and get to know how they behave. That way you can know like, oh, I want like I want to get this. 
because they can be a little bit of an investment to buy. Um, and if you don't really know what it does, like it's kind of hard to justify that cost. But right. this, this this class gives you the opportunity to really kind of get to use them, know what, how they behave and what they do, um, and that way you can use it for your own work. Or if you don't really want to make the investment, I mean, we can show you where, like, where to go to use these passes. Um, uh, if you want to take a trip to New York City, like, and, and then you can know like what you're looking for and what exactly, yeah, you, you know what to do uh, because you've had prior experience. So. Um, and PGP is great. I mean, the, the, it's a. I visited there. Um, Pittsburgh is awesome. <laughs> it's a really cool town, and um, and PGC is super friendly. I really love that shop environment. Um, and uh, I yeah, I think it's going to be a blast. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I've made a little, made a little bit of a lot of words, but I mean, and also Percy has a lot of. Um, Really, really like cutting, cutting edge. I, 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 I want to say cutting edge, edge but I mean, these, these techniques, techniques have been around for a while, but almost, almost nobody does them. them. Um, so, um, so, like, a lot of neat techniques around like glass solder, solder um, the DIY, DIY electrodes. And, and like, I, 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 I can't think even think of hardly, hardly a lot of people making plasma in soft glass today. But I think the area is really ripe for experimentation. There's a lot of hot programs out there. And increasingly, it seems like more of them are getting traction. With neon, with neon. And, once and once you have, have kind of the both of those, those things there, there that's, that's really what's necessary. necessary. Um, you got to have neon, and you got to have, have, have a little bit of uh, either soft glass, or you can do, you can do with porous silicate too. too. Um, but it seems, it like, seems like with soft glass, there's some, some more. It, more it, you can make different shapes, shapes than you can with porous silicate. Porous silicate it's hard to get those very big, big glowing shapes. And it also is nice that a soft glass you can use neon industry electrodes in, 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 the, in the US, um, you can use Dumat seals, seals, you can, you can use... use uh, so let's, like, let's talk about that real quick. So you, you mentioned that yeah. um, the techniques that I have been exploring aren't used very much. I argue that yeah. the pool you're looking at is just a very small pool of people doing plasma in general. So the sure, techniques sure. of glass solder are used by Ed Kirshner. So let's talk, let's talk, uh, right. Someone else who's learned so about that and used it in their works that, have used uh, plasma is Jason Chakravarty. Uh, making your own electrodes is something that a lot of people have. I mean, again, you're looking at strictly this small pool. Maybe Ben Tolman's been playing around with that with his soft glass work. Um, Money yeah. Hepburn was someone who introduced that. And, and Wayne, yeah. in, in that case, you mentioned well, with soft glass you can use the industry uh, electrodes used with the soft glass tubing neon. But additionally, yeah, yeah. There, you were going to jump into how um, some areas in Europe, I think France, uses borosilicate for their, neon, for, their, um, for their neon tube bending. In that case, do they yeah. coat their own tubings then as well? I know some places do, and some places get it pre-made. Okay. If you look on like the Gloucester tube website, for example, you can find that they claim, I'm not sure if it's still, because I haven't ordered from Gloucester tube before, but uh, they claim to offer it in borosilicate as well, if you can get borosilicate um, um, Phosphor-coated phosphor -coated glass. Um, I've talked with a neon bender in Algeria, and they said they get the borosilicate tubes in like, like I think it was, I think like, it was like ten or twelve foot lengths. It, it, totally, totally different, different world. world. Uh, they, bend they bend very differently over there than we bend in America. America. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's it's all borosilicate and it's very, very different. different. Um, whereas, whereas, yeah, yeah the, it, one, of the one of the cool, cool things about using soft, using soft glass is, is that you don't like you don't, like, you don't even need oxygen. oxygen. Like you just get an air blower and like like either natural gas or propane, and you're you're pretty pretty much set as far as your fuel source. And it's just nice not to have not to need that. Like in, your glass, in your glass, I would say, I would it's, say it's cheaper, cheaper but, but it's, 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 it's all expensive. Right. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah, you, your background is in, you know, your background in neon is is a dominant feature of your experience. But what people sure, don't sure. know is that you started out in furnace blown glass because of the programming that you went into for your arts. Can you yeah, talk a little yeah, bit about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at Alfred, uh, I started, I started in the hot shop, shop. Um, and, and I was uh, a hot shop nerd, nerd, nerd for a long time. time. And uh, so, so that's, that's really like my that's the start of my glass education. Really, I was in the hot shop, um, and it wasn't until like, like, like later when I was, when I was learning that, that this guy Denzel at Alfred was like actually like, hey, you like this hot shop stuff a lot. Like, you should try neon. And like, I trusted Denzel, so I I I kind of 
just jumped into neon and uh, learned to bend tubes. And then when I saw the glow, I really was hooked. But that hot shop education is always kind of like, uh, I knew and, and I read pretty much every neon book I could get my hands on. So um, I would know like, oh, uh, like, you know, in the hot shop, like it's already clean and pure when you make it because it's at a thousand degrees or it's at, you know, over a thousand degrees, really. So there's like interesting things that are opportunities that arise there where it's like, oh, I have this totally clean vessel that could get vacuumed out. But, but there, there are, are other, other like over, over the years, years I've learned other, other there, are there are other safety considerations, considerations that are going to be made there. there. Like, like it's probably a good idea to pump your stuff in a kiln. kiln. And so, and so like, like it's things, things like that, that we want to get into in the class. class. Mm -hmm. And it's like maybe, maybe you want to like there's a lot of design considerations that should be made in shapes that can save a lot of time. And like if you're trying to just go at this on your own. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of design considerations, considerations yeah. uh, and, and, and like things to balance, balance out when you're, when you're trying, trying to work, work in this way, way um, safely. Yeah. Uh, um, because, because yeah, like, like when you fuck out all the air, air in, a, in a vessel, that's, that's actually, actually a lot of force on that vessel. <laughs> yeah, so you know, you, you start out with this experience of working in a hot shop, and then you fell in love with this yeah. process of neon. Yeah. And yeah. I, I remember something about like it wasn't a program that was available to you until later on officially, but you got into a couple like, you know, practices or, or whatever with Neon before it became part of your yeah, major, so, you know, you, uh, which you is very exciting. And like you said, there's a lot of things to make considerations for when it comes to with plasma of neon. as compared to yeah. Neon. You have your perfect I, I form with Neon tubing. It wasn't a program the neon tubing is the extruded of a, extrusion of a circle, which a is a like, mirror of an arch, which is one of the strongest features that man can create or naturally exist in this world. And when you're blowing glass freeform, you have to be very considerate and discerning of how you approach things. And I go into a lot of uh, a lot of basic overview details of this in my Intro to Plasma series with Geeks, and that's available on YouTube as well. Uh, maybe that's in Chapter Two, Taking Shape, which talks about uh, aesthetic considerations, talks about structural guidelines. And I am currently working on revamping that uh, set of directions to expand into a different package of material that you can just pop open your phone and take a look at. And if you, you know, jump on Taming Lightning for Patreon, you can get download privileges for that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But other than that, it'll just be free to access on the web through tamingleg.net. Um, so then we could jump into like the class description. Let me just read the class description and then we'll like break it down. Does that sound fine? Sure. Awesome. Yeah. So the class description here is in this hotshot class, we will be learning both traditional neon techniques as well as a myriad of soft glass plasma techniques. By alternating between neon and plasma process, so we will, we we will blur the lines between these two the related crafts. And then we'll like we will be making lots of things. Awesome. Many of the techniques we will be covering so require a bit of trial and error. Some failure is inevitable be when learning. By learning, techniques as well as <coughs> of by learning and classes. experimenting with a variety of techniques, you will have plenty of tools to use when making neon and plasma ideas. To allow for maximum time in the studio, we will have neon demos in the morning, slide lectures after lunch, with plasma demos, fillings, and student work time in the evening. Our demonstrations will include things like basic neon tube bending, sealing on electrodes, using glass solder connections, and leak repairs. We will also be making shapes in the hot shop for reworking with torches. Uh, lectures include examples of both neon and plasma as they were, uh, where, the, where they overlap the aesthetic and functional considerations for making plasma works. We will go over rules for making both neon and plasma, and you should expect to create simple neon shapes and see firsthand luminous differences between neon and plasma. You will also be creating sculptures using blown glass shapes in the hot shop that will be turned into plasma using flame working, coal working, and kiln working techniques. So this is a lot of things yeah. we're trying to cover, but additionally, but I think what really shows us what this class is about is picking apart these approaches. Uh, what do you have to say about, um, just to this question before we jump to the top again, what do you have to say about what you take out of a workshop, James? Like how, how should people consider approaching a workshop? So this is a lot of things. Oh, oh I think, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, I, uh, when I, if I take a workshop, it's kind of like you're investing in a tool for yourself. Um, so I mean, like, you know, you know, if, if, if you have the workshop in the workshop, you're going to be 
be able to do all these things. And you might make a couple things by doing them, but then at the same time, like when you leave that workshop, it's like you have the experience of of like filling stuff with xenon. You have the experience of using like a kiln solder. You have all these experiences that then you can come and do it yourself and be able to do these practices on your own. So it's it's like. It's like that, that yeah, like, and you can always like if you don't like one thing, thing it's like one thing, just ignore that thing. You don't have to. You don't have to do everything, which is great. Uh, so, but yeah, we, so we want to give you those experiences, and so that way it's kind of like you have those tools, like in your knowledge toolbox. Uh, and, and that's and that's kind of the way I like to approach it. Um, um, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm and yeah, really excited I'm for really the excited class for the format. format. We're trying to model trying things to a little bit after kind of the pill truck, where it's like yeah. Like, yeah, we're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna like, have like lunch, lunch and then when we're all like, like kind of siesta ish, ish have, like our, have like our lectures, then you don't really, you don't really feel, feel like working like on a full stomach, stomach or whatever, um, and hopefully, um, and hopefully not fall asleep, asleep during the lectures. During the lectures. Um, um, but, I'm but I'm also very excited like, for these, like, for, for Pittsburgh's, like, they like Percy was saying earlier, we have a dedicated period of time after class from six to ten, so it's like you can try out all these things that we've been learning throughout the day, just right after class, every day. So, I mean, I think that's so, a really, exciting, that's a really time. exciting time. And you can, like, if you saw something earlier in the day in a demo or something like that, and you really want to try it, do the hot chop. And, and, we, and we're going to set up neon torches in the hot chop. So you can have, you can have the hot chop right there to experiment. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm super excited about the class format. And I think it's going to be um, really great for experimentation. And also, like, and like Percy said before, like that six to ten window, like, you know, it's not mandatory. So it's like if you're, if you're pooped at the end of the day or like you have to like hopefully not like send an email to like work or make a presentation or something like that after class like you can do it so in some ways it adds a little bit of flexibility to the class um, but I'm really excited that yeah like you can see something that you get excited about and then just later that evening try it um, so I think that's gonna, that's gonna be good yeah I would say um, I, I did a I don't it's I think it's episode 14 it's unlabeled but I have a link in my, in my uh, LinkedIn not LinkedIn, mm -hmm. but Linktree. Uh, that's mm -hmm. linktr.ee slash Haney Lightning. You can find it on the Instagram, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. bio. Yeah. And I have a, an episode yeah, I that I recorded yeah, to I, respond I, I, to I, expectations I, of workshops, especially something like Plasma label, and how it it, 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 my, my, uh, it is a, something that everyone should consider. Like, like James said, you're coming in to learn something. And then what you have to do, what you have with that space is a time where you don't have outside restrictions that are going to take away from your time. And so the, the, the point of the workshop is not to take away a product, but take away a knowledge that you can now, now at your work afterwards, to integrate that into your daily life and figure out what you can practice. And what we are doing are providing you the, 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 the proper steps as we can procedures and information and resources so that you can start to see how that changes and become part of your practice afterwards because there's the environment that you are learning in it's not going to be the same environment that you're practicing or making your work in and so additionally i think it's uh it's a really great opportunity to do all those type of things and uh to, to kind of tack on to so yes, again, the uh, to 6 to 10 is a voluntary decision-making on your particular energy levels. But we are expecting, yeah. because the scope of this class and what it takes and how um, how much there is to kind of go over, uh, that we will be using the entire day, like as, a, as, as the instructors and TA, we'll be using the entire day to, to get as much done as possible. Now we're hoping that uh, we will have more than information now so you can kind of pre-read before coming to class. But understand, like, as much information as I put out or James puts out, um, it does help to come into a class where you have that that as guidance, as the instructors, uh, uh, yeah, face to face the guidance. To, and to um, as much even now, as where we have to use more sort of that digital uh, or virtual inter uh, interaction, interaction, those same kind of one on one long class, time spending like, uh, as much is the same, I, I would say, is very similar um, in this necessity class between just kind of reading a book or watching a YouTube video or something like that. The YouTube video or the book 
where the information is a good primer, but sometimes there's a little extra information that you don't get that's put into those sources. Yeah, yeah. I think, and, I think, and, I think, like, and I think like to add on to that, like a lot of times with these plasma processes, like and from my own experience, it's like you can, you can just kind of like, like there's so much to actually like filling your own piece of plasma and thinking and seeing like, oh, like this picture, it's doing this. But if you go too much, it like it totally won't work. And it changes like it can change a little bit from piece to piece. And it's like there's so much you get. From, from and there's a and there's lot, a lot of things with, with, with a pla with like a lot of plasma fills that, that like I don't even, I don't even know how to describe that. that like what is that, that zizzle zazzle star thing, thing? <laughs> like and, 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 like a lot of stuff like, like that it's like you can, you can read a lot about, about it but like the book isn't gonna tell you like like that that and a lot of that you kind of have to experience and I think I think the class is that's your way to get that experience I mean I mean the the alternative is like buy a really really expensive tank of xenon and then burn through a lot of it as you're kind of guessing and checking um it's like it's like with this class it's like we already have the xenon like we already have people that can tell you like like Percy and I can tell you it's like oh no oh no like you should fill with this thing and do it do it like this so you're not wasting a lot of gas because they need on very expensive yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no. um, and to clarify it, on that i'm you know i personally don't feel like i'm very experienced in the gas mixtures uh, sure, even sure. if you no, talk to people no, like i i consult a lot with monday hepburn and and sure, wayne sure. on things in the moment or i walk through a process with someone like aaron mm -hmm. Rastow. And yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. like a there's a yeah, middle no. path between and what you need to do. And that I'm, that's hopefully know, something we'll be able to share with you very clearly is like gas the baseline. Uh, and there'll be different things people do, but I, the different I things that people do are on a consistent basis. That's how they they grow their understanding, and that's what we'll be doing. Like both James and I have enough experience where we discover things for ourselves to refine things through mentorship and you know the way we use gas is it's just bits and bits of time and of course in this process like mixing paints you're going to be wasting materials that's how so how do you not waste all your white you don't use all the white at once at one time i mean yes titanium white is expensive same with raw umber and then cobalt but you know yeah the, the, there's a crossover and overlap between these practices and so if we're trying to get an effect we're not trying to use too much of our expensive material because we never know exactly how it's going to work so how do you not like james is saying here you don't use all the volume the shape the length Titanium will change things over. even if you are following a proportionate a recipe of the yeah, yeah. effect that you've seen before. So, so it's always fascinating. You're always tweaking something. And hopefully you're taking yeah, yeah. notes to allow you to recover, re receive that information. Right, right. And it's like, it's, it's, these are also like, like, like Percy said before, it's like, we both don't claim to have, like, I'm not old enough to have the years of experience that Mundy or like Ed or some of these old, um, other guys have um, with the material. But, um, but, uh, we, we've been learning from them and, and so, and they, each of them has a different approach to filling. Um, and I think each of those approaches, you can learn, you can glean things and learn from them. Um, so we're going to share our approaches to filling and that we've learned from those, from those guys and from our own experiences too. Um, so, uh, like I know, for example, like a lot of the two electrode using neon transformers, I don't know of a ton of people doing that. Um, but it's kind of a different way of like, it's a, it's, it is very much a hybrid of like a neon and a plasma fill techniques. Uh, so, so um, that's, and that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's like, like where this class is at. It's really on that line of like, it's neon, it's neon and it's plasma. plasma. Like it's, it's, it's kind of both. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so yeah, yeah, exploring that line and writing that line. Writing that line. I think there's a lot, like I said before, I think there's a lot of area for experimentation there. And I was telling Percy, um, Yesterday, yesterday or day before yesterday, I plan, on I plan on bringing a bunch of stuff from Brooklyn, from Brooklyn Glass. There's a lot of hard to find materials outside of here that just get imported into here from Italy. Italy. So, like things like large diameter cold cathode tubes, um, a lot of like uncoated epitri glass, um, and you can just get that from me too. Um, I have, to I have to sell it because it's extremely expensive. expensive but I didn't also, also was saying to Percy, like, I don't want to, I don't want to eat up the, the class budget. We get gobbled up in two seconds if we, uh, if we, uh, if we uh, 
got it, got it all from the process. process. So, so like I said, I, I, said, I, I want to I want to bring some things that are hard to find. Um, and once again, that's like another example of like, oh, like I have all the materials here. I don't need to spend a thousand dollars on like shipping and all this other stuff. And I can just play with them here and then figure out what I like and. Then I, then I can get the materials for myself in my own practice. Um, um, but, but yeah, this kind of like, it's like, like seeing, seeing what, what, what's out there, what's, what's, what's possible, what's available. What's available. Um, that way, that way yeah, yeah, you, you can use these tools for yourself. For yourself. I, think I think it's a really, I'm super, I'm super excited, excited about it. And um, it, it, should it should be a ton of fun. I'm, um, yeah, yeah, and, 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 yeah, with and yeah, with like the glass solder, solder like that's a whole other, you could, you could do, you could make work, and people have made work, have made work such as like Ed, um, using glass that glass solder technique, uh, um, very, they've, they've made a lot of, you can do so much, um, and so that's why, and like I said, like, I think there's not a lot of people making soft glass plasma, and so, and I don't know of any other class running that is doing that, so, yeah, it seems to be like the borosilicate glass has has a lot of resilience to it that that allows mm -hmm. people to really do a lot of things that are a bit difficult uh, to do in with, with soft glass but um, it's just about that extra bit of like ability to rework something you, it, you could do that with thinner yeah. soft glass tubing because yeah, it's, it's, it is less chance of like the well, it glass kind of being stressed out by its thickness it, that, that but when you have something really you've blown in a hot shop you really can't work at it at room temperature uh, without some yeah, other type of condition that you put in the place so we'll be talking about but, that um, in the class it's just about i also that mentioned that in the intro plasma video series as well and in terms of the glass solder um this you know you can build pieces that can later attach through that process it is a pretty involved process involving you to in, which involves you going through cold working to set up that condition and what's the solder works its best so in that case uh, we won't lean very heavily on that we'll give you the resources to do that but I would then suggest uh, if you're really interested in the glass solder um, and you want to get first-hand experience with that take the plasma vessels using glass solder with Ed Kirshner I think I probably will do another video like this live stream with Ed which would be fun <laughs> Uh, we won't lean very heavily on that. We'll give you the resources yeah, to no, do that. Yeah, no, yeah. And I would then suggest, yeah, and, uh, if you're really interested in the glass solder... If, if you're specifically, like, if you're if someone who's like, I'm a film marker, the then you can curse your class, to be honest, because, uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, like, we're going to just like, briefly uh, touch on the glass solder in this class, in this class. but Ed Kirshner, the Ed Kirshner class, like, he's made he's made a career out of making work with that, with that technique, that technique. And, um, and, and, if, and if yeah, if you're, if you're really interested in that, really just that, that part, just then that part, do take the extra. <laughs> 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 and, and, and look out for that uh, for that video. But um, but like uh, but yeah, but yeah, I think there's a lot of room for like Percy said it. It, it is it, it is different and different and difficult to it can be difficult to play work with the soft glass. But I also think that a lot of people don't a lot of people don't. Um, aren't really approaching, approaching it. it. There, there are a lot of people, lot of people maybe, maybe are trying to treat it like borosilicate, like and, it's and it's completely not. not. Um, um, I think it's, I think it's like, like if you have glass air fires and you're working with thinner working glass, with thinner uh, glass uh, it's something that can be re that can be worked in the in the, in in the, the flame, flame shop. shop. Uh, uh, but like I said, you you gotta really. It's not borosilicate. You have to you have to, um, you have to warm it up slowly if it's got thickness to it. And so this class is really. I mean, with if you're in neon land, it's like oh, like you understand. It's like oh, it has to be this thin in order to um to jump right into the flame or whatever. And when you see thicker areas, it's like ooh, like ooh, like you know, stay back. Yeah, you gotta you gotta introduce it more slowly. But it's not like you can't flame work with it later. Um, it's something that can be done, and no one seems. To do, to do it partially because, partially I, because I, I think I think the, the attitude, attitude towards flame, flame working is all borosilicate. It, it doesn't really have to be that, be that way. Um, like, like really for example, people make beads all the time, and it's like, uh, and I mean, already FHI is is, is a, a bit more crackative than even like, like your soda line, your your like spruce pine. Yeah, so it's also like a relative nature of efficiency, right? You know. The more processes mm -hmm. you put in your artwork, the more your your time you're spreading out. So you want to make sure you're using mm -hmm. the most of your time sure. in the first place. Sure. Um, I I learned that pretty yeah. recently yeah. through my residency at Toledo, where like, <laughs> yeah, we're making a lot of blown stuff, but I shortcut yeah. the it, blown process like by making a mold. Efficiency, right? And then you know, you know I spend right. a lot of time cold working, and then soldering, and then getting ready to fill. 
So, you know, you got to be okay with, with doing what you need to do. So if you're going to make a lot of pieces that you're then going to be playing work, well, get a, log, get a, get a batch. Like, we're, all, we're going to be talking about batching yeah. this entire class, how you need to make a lot of things, not one-offs. Because in this process, your one-offs are not 100% successful. Yeah, and that's a good point. Um, I mean, I think with, with Plasma, it's very, it's nice to expect some failure um, because you're going to have it. I mean, it's like like these things break very easily. And if you're making them attach, the nice thing is that it's like, if you get what's done and you break one, you have a spare right, ready to go right then. And when it comes to Bill, like, it's like, it's like, I've got, you know, if you have like three or four, say you have three pieces that are working, that's like, I've got three chances to get get this bill like, like perfect, perfect. yeah uh, and you have um, you can play with variety like harriet schwartzrock will set up uh five to seven mm -hmm. pieces in her kiln and she allows that yeah. for her to expand and experiment on the same form maybe different colors to try out different different fills to see where she likes it like oh this is darker i'm going to use more xenon here because it sticks yeah. out a and bit more have, or, or this or that variety, like, it allows yeah, you to really get into the 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 um, five to seven pieces of, in her of like she playing with the, the gas mixture, which can be fun. Yep. Yep. And she's soft glass. She's soft glass. Yeah, yeah. 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 she's one of the few people uh, uh, making. I think. I think she makes pretty much, pretty much all her um, plasma work. I think is all soft glass. I don't think she's a borosilicate. Not so much. And that and that's what will allows her to get those like very delicate curves and shapes that she has um, that are just a little bit more difficult to do with borosilicate. Um, and also she has access to like the rich color palette available um, with like gaffer and if I try. That's not to say borosilicate people don't have colors. I mean, they have some pretty insane colors in borosilicate. But it's a different animal. I mean, and and I and I also think that the soft glass is a little bit cheaper as far as if you're not paying for a ton of pot shop time. I mean that could that could that's that's part the part that, 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 that changed that. that. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, the but the material itself is cheaper. And, uh, and uh, I, yeah, I, yeah, I think like as far if you're going for like subtle or like, or, like soft, soft, soft curves, curves soft rise seems to be, seems the, way to the way to go. And, uh, and uh, this, class this class really is going to dive, dive into that. And yeah, like I said, it's compatible with neon tubing too. So if you are a neon vendor, you'll feel more at home working with the soft glass. And you can really like can hybridize these things. things. I haven't seen anyone do it yet, um, but, but you, you can totally like hybridize like um, like like adding neon, neon bits to glass. Um, and so like yeah, I think, yeah, there's, I think a there's, a of, there's a lot of room for experimentation and a lot of things that things that like people just aren't doing. Aren't doing. Um, it's something, and it's something that, I that I think yeah, there's a lot of room for like you want to make something new that no one's seen before. It's like this class you could definitely make some things that no one has seen before. Uh, and it, uh, so yeah, I think it's uh, that's really exciting. Um, um, so let's get to the yeah. next here, next thing here. So I, we're gonna go talk about skill level again. I want to reemphasize this is a hot shop class, so we're gonna be bringing mm -hmm. in the neon torches into that space. Um, the reason why we put that first is we need to emphasize that it can be a little confusing <laughs> when you're saying, okay, neon, wouldn't we be in the flame yeah, studio yeah. and plasma? Could not also be in the flame right. studios? Um, yes, so but we want to combine year, both the, the, the compatibilities that happen Again, here and the breadth of scale that you should have glass. with furnace so blown glass and then neon's compatibility space. with the soft um, with the soft the furnace glass. And so, unfortunately, we only got one question from this, but I still want people to ask questions because it will do shorter videos of just us answering questions if there's any more that come up. I think this is an important format for that. So this skill level of this class is dated as intermediate, which means this class requires some basic hot glass and or soft hollow flame working skill. I plan on moving quickly and covering a lot of techniques, leaving very little time to cover glass blowing basics. So we recommend you come with the glass being able, being comfortable with glass blowing uh, or hollow soft glass flame working fundamentals. So one of the questions that came up here is from Ben Perkins, and he asks, if I have some experience bending uh, neon tubes but have no other glass working experience glass is that enough to hit the ground running in this class and that's a very good question because we do have a couple of the neon vendors coming in yeah and i mean i think i, I think you'll um you'll definitely be playing catch up in the furnace and i mean and that's something that it's like if we have some other glass blowers they might be able to help you out 
Um, it'd be nice just because we have so much material to cover. Um, I, I, we're not going to be able to hold your hand as far as like, like maybe we could run through how to gather real quick, but I'm not going to be able to hold your hand through like, this is how you have a bubble and things. Um, and in that way, it's, it, it can be nice to work with furnace glass blowers um, because it's like you, as a neon worker yourself, you have skill sets that they don't necessarily have, especially when it comes to like, making a, a hemetrically, hemetrically sealed, sealed like, like glass seal. seal. It's like, like a lot of furnace glass workers never have to worry, to worry about, about that. that. Um, and, um, so and so it's like, like uh, you, have you have skills that they don't have and they have skills that you don't have. have, have, don't have. So, so in a way, way it allows, allows you to work together. together. Yeah. Um, and I think it's like, like you might not come out of the class an expert glass blower if you're at like, if you're like Ben Perkins or if you're a neon vendor that doesn't necessarily work in the hot shop, but you will leave the class with enough skills and knowledge to know like if you go into a hot Shop, you'll, be you'll be able to work, work with the glass blowers there, there to, make to make whatever you want to make. make. Um, and, honestly, and, honestly, and, like, and like that's, that's a pretty good tool in itself. Because um, um, yeah, yeah it'll, it'll, we, could we could spend uh, a month like learning, like learning to blow glass, glass to get you up to speed there. there. Um, and we just don't have that time, unfortunately. So that's why it is like that intermediate. But I don't want to dissuade you and say like it's not for you because you can still glean a lot from that from Knowing, knowing, knowing that what's possible, possible with a hot shop, shop. and then you just have to get up go to a hot, go to a hot shop, shop that's around, around you or, or make a special, make a special road, road trip, trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, never but, never uh, underestimate the knowledge that comes from observation and that's yeah, what yeah. Payne james is it's tying in here is like you may not have a glass blowing experience you may not come out of that with hot shop glass experience but you'll have enough vocabulary mm -hmm. and observation of that process to dictate to a glass blower yeah. to make certain never, forms never or volumes for you that, that you can bring back and then add your and flame working or James neon bending or neon welding skills too, which I think is super exciting. Uh, there are a lot of people that don't blow their own glass and being able to communicate ideas and information is a very important part of that process when you're working with someone who has a skill that you do not have access to. Right. right. And it's, and it's like, and, like, and also, I mean, I was actually just talking, talking with a glass blower just the other day. She was asking about like, what, like, uh, what is possible? Uh, um, uh, what do I need to think, think about? And, and there, there's, there's so much, there's so few people doing this. That they were saying that they were asking around and just getting a gazillion different answers. So it's like, there's so many, there's so few people doing this. It really is kind of the wild west as far as like people doing this just because not a lot of people do it. Um, but this class will really show you like what is possible. You'll get to have firsthand experience as to like trying out these things in a safe way. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, and, and yeah, you'll see what you actually can and can't do. And that, that tool is really good when you're going into like another hot shop to say like, oh no, like don't, don't do that. We don't want because mm -hmm. we don't want happen. happen or you'll know, you'll, you'll, you'll have a lot more, a lot more uh, uh, you'll know where to go. Know where to you'll go. know like you'll know, what like, direction, direction to like. To like, like you'll, you'll 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 basically, basically learn, learn the rules, the rules. Uh, and, and, and that's what Percy kind of hinted on that. And there's certain rules with plasma and with plasma and that that it's it's good to follow. I mean, there's ways ways around a lot of them, but you got to know those ways. There's modifiers, definitely modifiers. Yeah, I find it very fascinating that that person is like, I got, I talked to a lot of different people and I got a lot of different answers. Duh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You go to glass and ask people how to do something. Like seriously, just basic stuff. There's a lot of different ways you can approach it. So I, yeah, I yeah. think this person just yeah, needs to dive in definitely modifiers. and have a conversation and start figuring out um, that, that person what they want to do. I think that's like, like an important thing we'll kind of emphasize is that I don't not sure how you go. work about your work, you go to your pieces, how to do but I, I take it it's very, you seriously. may have some yeah, similar cognition to like when you're working in your commercial well, work for I Neon, is that you got to have a, an idea what the end product's going to look like so you can work towards the steps that allow you to succeed there. In a similar way, that's going to be required yeah. here in plasma I'm not sure how if you, you don't first start with a drawing mm -hmm. or an idea I, I take it, it's gonna be very hard to just jump in and make anything cognition to like when you're working mm -hmm. right yeah commercial yeah it's me. definitely nice to have, you, you know, know a little bit where you're going um, um i mean there i mean there you can, you can discover things along the way, along the way yeah. and that's yeah. totally yeah. especially yeah. when you're learning i mean you might not know exactly no uh but if you if you do have that that thought and it's like then it's like oh i can do this and this x y and z to get there and if you don't know i mean that's that's okay too at this at this point especially yeah like we said when you're learning 
happening. You don't know, you don't know that's okay, okay. But, but once you get, once you get these tools, tools under your tool belt, you kind of think, you can start thinking with the material. You can be like, oh, well, like, how do I make like a soft glow that's responsive to touch? And if you take this workshop, it's like, oh, of course, I'm going to use a neon fill for this, and it's going to be a shape sort of like this, so it can you'll know like what what it takes to get certain things, or have it, or at least have an idea about like what it takes to get somewhere. And you can, yeah, you can just have those ideas and those kind of tools in your repertoire. Pretty much what I want to emphasize here is that. As an intermediate skilled person, that that's very broad to think about. Honestly, it's it's not yeah. that much different than it could be very close to beginner. It could be very close to master or advanced. And yeah, yeah. the idea here is that yeah. in, the, in order Pretty to make the best leaps forward, you have to start with something that you're familiar with. At least that's how I want to teach you. It's your class, James. I'm not sure how you want to throw it in there. I think that's um, really valid. I mean, valid. Um, but once you start with something you're familiar with, then you'll be comfortable enough to like jump into the jump into the deep waters. Yeah, and that's why yeah, I think like I think, it's like, kind of the intermediate kind of thing is, intermediate is really there because we don't want you to be familiar with one of the two. I mean, it's like you're coming in as like a heavy furnace, all these work, and your background is really in furnace, but you really don't know much of the neon stuff. Like, we're here to, t to teach you some of that, and you might not leave the class an expert neon vendor, but you'll at least know where to go, and you'll know enough to be able to incorporate it in your own work. Um, and likewise for the neon vendors, it's like you're not going to leave here with a, be a, an expert class. Blower. Um, but uh, it, but it, it'll, it'll at least be, at, at, at the bare minimum, it's a material introduction. Um, and if you, if you find you fall, you fall in love with it, fall in love with it like, that, like you, can you can definitely, definitely pursue that, that further. further. There's, There's definitely a lot of hot shop classes out there. Um, but, but you'll, you'll also know, know like how to, like how to come at it from this really kind of unique angle of like, like Making, making plasma, plasma. and, and I, don't, I don't think there's any better, better place to do that than, than PGC because, because like, like I said, it, it Percy, Percy kind of kind cultivated, cultivated this unique program, program there, where, there it's where it's really it's really a neon, neon setup that's, that's devoted to plasma. plasma. Um, so, um, so yeah, and while they have some yeah, neon torches there, there which, we, there, which we're definitely going to dive into and use, um, uh, uh, it, it, there's also it, like, there's like I said like before, it's like before it's tailored to have all these different gases. gases. The man holds on a cart, cart. so it can be so rolled can be around in different kilns. I can pump out the kilns. So it's very different than like your standard neon setup. And I think that yeah, like for a class like this, it really makes it the perfect place to do it. Yeah. I wouldn't say I have a program. Uh, we have uh, something in development that's going to become a program. Um, to, it's Still always like, like dated. Dated. yeah, like I, again, I'm going to use a lot of different examples here. Uh, recently visiting Toledo, they are developing their neon programming. They got equipment from uh, George Vitas and they, they set up things there and, and they're starting to work through basic neon classes. They have interest in plasma, which is why they built it so that one like side reaches over for neon, yeah, other side I, reaches over for plasma again, using a kiln. Mm -hmm. So Recently, now the next step for them really is to change a couple different things. I've made modifications to the system so they can do stuff that they weren't able to do before. And we'll, we'll probably dive into that a little bit just like in general, like using a lot of different gases, how you set up the manifold. Um, and what the, what you know bouncing those investments so because right now, now with a lot of people really is to um, a couple different they want to go to an institution which they can have this filled or send it to an artist stuff that well, there's a lot of complications to come with that uh, which is also highlighted in chapter three of intro to plasma using it's lit in chemistry of collaboration where we also talk about um, you know the ideas of working with people or, or institutions that provide those services and how to navigate that. Uh, any last things you want to say uh, before we uh, end this talk? But I, which is also highlighted. I'm I'm so honored to be teaching there with Percy, and it's, uh, I'm so excited. I've wanted it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, and uh, uh, oh, question coming in on. Um, uh, oh, really? Uh, awesome. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, uh, Joey on Instagram is asking plans on pumping both pumping styles, hot kiln fills, cold fills, both. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a, a, a lot of hot kiln fills, I think. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's generally the way to go. Um, I don't think we're going to get too much into cold fills. Oh, really? uh, so let's, 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 let's talk about that terminology real quick because, again, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm asking yeah, yeah. you. I once again am asking you to watch the Enter the Plasma video series. We talk about this, okay? <laughs> so, 
the, the question of are we doing cold fills versus hot fills, you're always filling at room temperature, number one. But are we baking out the glass? So, well, yes. Let's, let's baking out the, the glass, glass is a very important part of the process. Again, bombarding. I don't think we're going to give it. Once again, I'm asking you to watch the Enter the Plasma video series. We oh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Yeah, I, 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 so, I, I'm going by. The, the oh, whoops. Am I muted here? No, you are breaking yeah, up. Veggie Boy Joe. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, breaking up. Yes. So I'm assuming what so Veggie Boy Joey was saying with the cold bills like was uh, like not baking it out. Uh, there are, uh, there are to, like, methods to like to do, do, do that using some special, special getters. We're not really, gonna do, much, we're not really uh, gonna do that too, too much on Instagram. Instagram. Also, soft glass only, or can we put a boil? We're gonna stick. With soft glass, 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 this class, just because, because like, as we said before, there's, before, there's just so much um, going on, on that we really don't even have time to get into Poro, um, um, and, uh, and uh, we wanted to explore it more because, because we think there's so, there's so few uh, people, uh, people doing soft glass, uh, plasma, uh, plasma. And we wanted to offer that as, as an option because uh, we've seen like from other people, such as like Monday Hepburn and uh, um, and Harriet, uh, there's a lot of that a lot you can do with soft glass. And uh, we, just really we just really want to explore that route. That route. We know and we know there's a lot of exciting things happening, at, like for it's, it's, it's at Salem, Salem and, like the, and like the things that Wayne is doing with plasma, with plasma, with silicate. But, but we also wanted to offer the soft glass option. option. Um, and, that's and that's not to say like if if you do borosilicate um, and you want to learn, learn more about plasma, you like you can still learn a lot from it. But just know that we're not going to play with boro. It'll all be soft glass. So, but that's not to say that you can't use some of these techniques. And translate, and translate some of the knowledge you have. Like if you don't know a lot about plasma, um, you're, like, you're not, you're not going to be able to use the vent seals, uh, and, this, and your, your, your glass and metal seals are going to be different. different. But, that but that same, same like knowledge, knowledge about, about making a structure and the gas, and the gas fills, fills that all carries, all carries over, over to borosilicate as well. So, um, so, so some some of the knowledge will translate over, but just know that yeah, it's not really a borosilicate class. It is. Man, I feel like I'm missing out on using Instagram to drag people in. What you haven't done, James, is drag people onto YouTube so they can hear what I'm saying. Oh, oh my, gosh. my gosh. I should mention I that this whole thing um, could have been caught, caught on YouTube. On YouTube. <laughs> tell, them to go, uh, tell them to watch it on YouTube. Tell them to also check out the other stuff. But uh, yeah. So the first question that was the first question that I tried to answer, I'm not sure if I answered that completely because it got garbled up here, done, was Joey's asking if it's cold or hot fill. And again, yes. this process is filled at room temperature, so that's not an answer. Uh, so that's not part of the Tell question, but the question you might be asking about is whether or not this is being, you, are we baking out the glass or not? And you had mentioned that, yeah, we're going to be baking these out because that gives us the best clean environment. It gives us a stable, clean environment to work with. It's like, do you want to have a clean piece of paper to draw on or do you want to have something that has dirt or dust on it? You can still get something amazing by painting in layers and layers and layers, but you're not going to have the stability of having a clean color. Um, and then you mentioned getters, special getters. Yeah, there are processes that allow you to do that without it, um, but it is it does have a severe a limit in what you can what you, you can do in terms of your effects that's a really good point i'm surprised joey jumped on there because joey i know joey color joey and then you mentioned you got to watch those videos man i know you got i know you have a hard time focusing my man but you got to watch those videos it hurts my heart right now i know you for so long i provide you so much no, we have, we but yeah. <laughs> question of, of book, book recommendations for plasma. Book re and recommendations? I mean, there is there is one book I know of um, that's being written. Um, I don't know where it, where the um, where it is as far as publishing goes. I think it was mostly written. You're talking about the book Wayne's what, Wayne's writing. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah, uh, Wayne, so tell them um, there are not sources for plasma, but. Uh -huh. Let them know that when it comes to resources for plasma, you can't think about plasma as the filling, lighting thing. You have to think about uh -huh. the entire scope, the, the entire the overview, writing. like understanding right. the vacuum so, equipment, um, understanding right. what the pump so does. And so there are resources literally on taminglightning.net. Taming right. There's a button on the right-hand side that says resources. One of the resources I recommend is basic vacuum practice. Thing. Yeah, that give you an give you an understanding of how vacuum the works, the different group. types of equipment, and maintenance, yeah. troubleshooting, and stuff. Um, understanding. I would recommend buying the fourth edition of Neon Techniques. On it's also a nice resource for intricacies on the parts and setups. 
Yeah, um, yeah. I, recommend is I would also tools. recommend getting um, now, Light our, Riders uh, from Light Riders or Jason. Uh, sorry, um, Jacob Fishman and uh, Morgan yeah, Crook. Yeah, they have a book called Neon Engineers, the handbook. Neon Engineers uh, a Handbook. Um, yeah, yeah. The Answer to Plasma series as a video. Right. It gives you a, the overview that I'm trying to, to convey here. Uh, right, but as right, for right, books specifically uh, on right, right, plasma, Jason, no, there's, there's, not, there's sections of like these books that talk about it. Brooke, they have a yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Support yeah. Taming Lightning because the more I understand that you're interested, the more I can push power into getting that done. I think people right, don't right. understand that if someone's out there creating content related to what you're interested in, you got to talk to them. So you got to say, hey, I like it, heart something. Like, you got to say something to mention that. You want more of that. Otherwise, that person's going to go at the pace that you're going to. Um, and like, it just there's a lot of people who do plasma. I talk about it on the podcast. Reach out to them. That's what I've been doing this whole time, reaching out to people and that the people seeing, oh, shoot, I didn't know this person did plasma. I didn't know how many – like, that's part of my research. I'm, I'm basically giving you a library of people who are willing to connect with you about this process. And Whether it's right. right. yeah. a lot of people who do, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, like I said, it's still like, like I said before, it's not like it's not people, have people haven't been, been like, people have been making plasma, plasma like you can see Dale Chihuly making plasma on the seven. Like, it's not like, like, it's not like I, 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 I don't want to say it's cutting, it's cutting edge, edge. Like, but in the grand scheme of crafts, it is cutting edge because that's very young for a craft, even from the 70s, 50 years is not a long time for a craft. Um, but uh. But I, mean, but I mean, it is still, still kind of wild west in the sense, sense that, like, there's so, there's so few people doing it. Doing it. There's, not there's not a lot, lot of, of literature out there, out there specifically about it. About it. And, and I think, I think, I think if you are looking, looking for books to do some further research ahead of time, ahead of time, ahead of time. Um, um, yeah, like, yeah, like Percy said, basic that basic backing practices book is a really good one, and as well as some of the Neon books that talk about it, like Neon Engineer's Handbook and Neon Technique Handling, specifically the later revision by Wayne. The fourth, the fourth edition, edition right, right? Um, that, really that really gives you a lot and it's not, and it's not to say that the old the old, the old edition, edition didn't have some things in there but there's the old edition update. did not have plasma because it Wayne yeah, added yeah, that section in there because he was doing the fourth yeah, edition yeah yeah, yeah. And, and, you'll and you'll get you can still get you can still, uh, you can still glean some like physics, physics information, information about what's happening inside of neon tube, tube which, can which can help like you understand, understand some of the basic principles of, the, of, the, of these of these things that we're things talking about, about. Um, but yeah but yeah and I, I um, I'm excited I'm definitely going to I'll be one of the first people to buy Wayne's book when it comes out um, uh, yeah the the newest neon book that's out that um, has it, once again it's not specific to plasma but it has things of um, Pertaining to it would be Casey Lee's. Lee's um, I, think it's I think it's called Neon Primer. Primer. Yeah. It's, it's very neon specific. specific. Um, but that, but that, that would be that would be the newest publication. We're, we're putting in a collection to have Neon Primer by Casey Lee's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful. Work is great. It is both an informational and like an art piece. It's yeah. literally yeah. It's a new silk screen, silk screen but but uh, educational uh, art <laughs> yeah 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 it is it's really, really neat and casey, casey actually, actually has just got a uh event residency over in los angeles i think it's in i think it's in san oh wow it's in los angeles no yeah i just saw it um and yeah really excited for casey um and she is uh in california for the summer educational art anyways anyway that's another that's another topic um but yeah but yeah thank you all so much for coming along i think it's Nearing an, nearing an hour, hour and Instagram's probably going to kick me off soon. Um, <laughs> so, so, Actually, you might end up getting uh, lo longer on that end, but uh, oh, yeah, oh, if you guys oh, want to yeah, continue good. the conversation, yeah. just say uh, let people know that they can ask questions. We'll answer them yeah. in shorter yeah. videos along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, happy I'm happy to, to, to chat, chat more, more about this. this. I'm very excited about the class coming up. And yeah, and yeah, if you have, if you have any questions, um, do, do feel free to reach out to either Percy or I, and, and we'll address, address them as they, as they come in, in um, and as our time, as our schedules allow. But yeah, thank you all so much for for joining and for for your interest. And I hope to see see some of y'all this summer. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna learn a lot. And yeah, anything else, Percy? you have to add no um you know look at taming lightning.net check, check out, out, out the, taming lightning sure, sure. check out the intro to plasma sure, sure. series uh collaboration with geeks that's on youtube um mm -hmm. and sign up uh for the newsletter because that's the only way you're going to see any new posts through taming lightning 
Um, yeah. And yeah. Um, also look out for James and Nebula Neon, what, what they're working on. Net. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. All right. I'm, gonna I'm gonna sign off, off on the Instagram. Instagram. Goodbye, Goodbye, Instaworld. Instaworld. Um, um, thank you all for your questions. questions. And uh, yeah, yeah. Any 